Lucinda, you just don't know when to quit, do you? Holden, you and I have some unfinished business. Didn't Lily tell you you're not welcome here? She did say that, didn't she? When the hell do you get off? Excuse me? I tried. I tried. I tried to broker a peace with you. Uh, I, I reached out and have some kind of peace in this family. Right, right. And I told you I don't want to get in the middle of it. No, God forbid, until now you should take any active role that wasn't between the sheets. Goodbye, Lucinda. I want to know why you did it. Did what? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about the visit from Margot Hughes. From Margot? Yes. After she left you at the farm, she came to talk to me. Wanting to ask me all kinds of questions about Dusty's death and subsequent resurrection. And you're surprised by that? You're in this with him up to your neck. I know what I did. I want to know who clued the police in. Was it you? Or was it your idea, darling? These are Lucinda Walsh's personal bank statements. I've highlighted the transactions I want you to look into. Mm -hmm. uh, the first one was on January 15th of this year. Yeah, three days before Dusty Donovan staged his own death. She transferred three and a half million into an overseas account. I want to find out where that is and who has access to it. Okay. And the second one was on January 19th. It's the morning after Dusty's death. Yep, quarter of a million into a Chicago bank. Want to know who hit that jackpot. Okay. So what exactly are you hoping to find here? Either a spare million for me or a direct paper trail between Lucinda Walsh and Dusty Donovan. Lucinda, Lily really didn't do anything to you, so don't accuse her of something like this. Accuse me of what? What are you even doing here? Somebody said something. And Holden was the last person to see Margot before she came to see me. Margot's not stupid, okay? She knows what kind of connections you have in this town. You're the only one in this town who could manufacture Dusty's great escape. Margot questioned you? It was a fishing expedition, dog. She was just trying to get me to slip up so I admit that I had something to do with Dusty's death and subsequent resurrection. You did have something to do with it. I know what I did. That's been established. But Dusty's plan was already in place when he brought it to me. Yeah, maybe you weren't the mastermind, but you were his accomplice. You don't think you should have to go to jail for what you did? You're gonna look me in the eye and tell me that I deserve to be in a jail cell? Did I deserve to go to jail? Or, or Holden, for that matter? When we were the prime suspects in Dusty's murder? Lily. No, Holden, this needs to be said. I... Holden was arrested, Mother. Why didn't you come forward then and with the truth? Just a minute. I would not have let Holden go to jail, take him away from you and the children. I don't believe you. Lucinda, maybe the best thing you can do for yourself hire a lawyer. I don't need a lawyer. I've got a lawyer. What I need is a family. Do I have a family? If I don't have a family, what the hell? What's the point of putting up a fight? I got something on those wire transfers. All right, let me hear it. OK, the one Lucinda made to the bank in Chicago, the account belongs to Ernest Ronan. Ernest Ronan, why does that sound familiar? We call him Erie Ernie. He's the director of Oakdale Funeral Home. Oh, that's where Donovan's body was sent to after it was released yeah. from the morgue. It's an awful lot spent on a phony funeral, if you ask me. Yeah, especially since Barbara Ryan paid for it. So why is Lucinda cutting quarter million dollar payments to Ronan? Cover up the fact that there was no body. Is there anything on the overseas account? Yeah, uh, three and a half million to a bank in Singapore. Didn't Donovan say he followed Lucy and John to Singapore before James abducted him? What's the name on that account? It's, um... Jonathan Burke. Name ring a bell? Jonathan Burke. Jonathan, Johnny, Jonathan, Jonathan, Donovan, Donovan, Burke, Don, Don, Burke, Burke Donovan. Burke Donovan is his, step, his stepfather. <laughs> Donovan's stepfather. He was a horse trainer. I don't think that's a coincidence. Do you? No. Lieutenant, I have the flight log from the Walsh jet. You've been waiting for this? Yes, I have. Thank you so much. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. What? Lucinda's private Jeff left Oakdale the night of Donovan's supposed murder and landed in Singapore. Doing here was a mistake. I'll, I'll respect your wishes. I'll keep my distance. Lucinda, if you want, I'll call Tom. Please. No, I can take care of it. Don't trouble yourself. And I'll let myself out. What are you going to do? Do you care, darling? The, the girls might have questions about you. Alice. Hi. May 
I come in? What for? I have an arrest warrant. It's for Lucinda. Mrs. Walsh, please. For what? Why? Destruction of justice. Conspiracy to commit fraud. Oh, for heaven's sake, doesn't the Oakdale police have something better to do than arresting me? I'm sorry, Miss Walsh. Please put your hands behind your back. Wait a minute. <laughs> do I look dangerous and armed? It's procedure. Please turn around. Hey. You have the right to remain silent. I know my rights. I know. Any... I, 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 do we really have to do this here? Because my, my grandchildren are in the next room. I don't want them to get upset. I believe he really arrested her. It's gonna be okay. Let me go check on the kids and uh, then we'll figure out what we're gonna do, okay? Hey, Reg, are you still on the Gay Straight Alliance at OU? Yeah, guilty as charged. I need to talk to you. Could you please excuse me for a minute? What's up? Would you mind explaining to me why I've been fielding phone calls all morning asking why the brochures for the foundation are being distributed at the film festival? Well, I, I, I told you. We got a booth. I was going to distribute yeah, them. Yeah, I told you not to do that. No, you said that you didn't think it was a good idea. But you see what's happening now. This is exactly the kind of attention I wanted to avoid. <laughs> Brian, don't foundations support the arts? Even the gay ones? Look, Luke, I have no problem with you distributing brochures around campus if that's what you want. Well, the festival's on campus. But this is not just any festival, and you know that. And I warned you of the ramifications. Do you know that the school is thinking of pulling funding for the festival? Well, I'm sorry to hear about that, but I don't see what that has to do with because this. Because it's a gay festival. Where are you going with this? If that happens, I want the foundation to back it next year. But you can't. Look, I didn't sign on to oversee something like this. So you wouldn't support a gay film festival? No, I'm saying that if you continue to pursue this and take the foundation in that direction, you're on your own. I know you did what you did so that you could find Johnny. And I know why my mother chose to go along with it. She's been very clear about that. Your mother wants me out of your life. She says I drag you down. That's not her decision to make, or yours. But she shouldn't take the fall for something you chose to do. Margot's not gonna let me anywhere near your mother. Is she a proof? I mean, is there any way that she can prove my mother's involved in this? Well, we covered our tracks, but... But what? Well, who knows, maybe if what? the cops dig deep enough. Dusty, you gotta go down there. You gotta, you gotta tell them whatever they need to hear to get her out of this. I would do anything for you, you know that. But not this? If my son resurfaces, I can't protect him from a jail cell, can I? Why, why did I ever even think you'd help me? Because I'm your best friend, that's why. And I wish I could. Oh, you, you can. You just won't. When you needed me, I didn't think twice about it. You're talking about that hooker? Yeah, Cherie? yeah. When you were accused of killing her, I, I was right there. I, I put my, my freedom, my marriage, my kids, all on the line for you. Because when I looked at you, I saw this sweet, beautiful boy that I fell in love with. You owe me this, Dusty. 